What's up guys, welcome to your 31st PHP tutorial. And instead of just telling you guys um, all of the different tests, I'm going to just show them, uh, run through them real quick, and then I'm going to post them on my website, uh, thenewboston.com, so you guys can just copy them. Because if I show you guys each individual test like I've been doing, uh, it's going to take like 8 years. So we've already tested to see if their username contains letters and numbers, and if it did, I mean, uh, if it passed that test, then it went on and checked for duplicate names. So I'm going to run through the rest of these real quick. Um, the next thing, after it checks for the name wasn't used, uh, it's the same thing. You have to do the same exact thing to check if the email wasn't used. Select, uh, look at your database, run through, and whatever email they posted right here, right here, make sure that it isn't already in the database. Again, if num equals 2, I mean if uh, num equals zero that means there's zero in the database so you can move on to the next step the next step after that is um, if post pass equals pass to and post email equals post email to now what this test does is make sure that pass and confirmation pass and email and confirmation email add up and remember post pass right here this variable is whatever we typed in to here whatever we typed in here is going to be stored in that variable and again this is confirmation pass this is email and this is confirmation email so if it passed all these tests to check for duplicate names and duplicate emails and stuff like that the next thing we're going to want to do is generate a random confirmation code that's going to be used in their email and the code for this is MD5 unique random and what this is going to do is generate a unique confirmation code that's stored in the variable confirmation code right here and once we generate a confirmation code we're going to want to send a bunch of variables to them but before we do we want to strip all of the tags um, that a hacker might use so for example if they used instead of entering their email address is whatever at AOL.com um, a hacker might try to use something like <coughs> um, script uh, bad things and they might uh, try to enter that they might try to enter this so they can kind of like uh, change our site using JavaScript or anything like that what this does right here strip tags is it removes all the HTML tags so if someone's being an idiot in trying to put JavaScript or HTML tags into our database then they can't do that. It's just a way of uh, securing our website a little more. And after they do that we want to insert the data into the database temporary. Now we want to insert all the data in the temporary database because if we um, cause if we just enter it into the uh, permanent database without checking make sure they have a confirmation email then it's another security risk so what we're going to do is insert all their data into a temporary database send them a confirmation email right here and if they click it then we want to uh, put it into the permanent database then so what this means insert into a temporary database send them a confirmation email and uh, this is pretty much just send them all the confirmation email right there now in that confirmation email we're gonna send them is gonna have code to insert that information into a permanent database so this whole page right here is just pretty much to test all of your information making sure you're not trying to hack your site making sure you aren't spam and if you pass all these tests we want to insert your information into a temporary database and send you an email confirmation. And I'm not going to go over all this like I said, but I am, actually I already did post it on my website on um, thenewboston.com as you can see. Um, if you go down is look at PHP, source code from PHP tutorial 30 and 1, it's all right here. So you can just go ahead and uh, copy all this and put it right in your website and you can see what it means by then and if you have any questions at all on any of this all you have to do is uh, sign up for my site um, register it's gonna be up here I'm already signed in 
and ask me my questions on the newboston.com. Again, I'm not going to answer any of your questions on YouTube if you post questions on there, since I never check those messages. So again, study this, copy my source code, and um, I comment it for you so you can see exactly what it means, exactly what it's doing. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys what to do with that confirmation link once you send it to them in the email. So this is actually the most confusing part. And I'm, I'm sorry to throw this at you guys real quick, but I made it real easy for you guys to copy. Once you get past all of this, um, it's going to be a piece of cake. I'm going to walk through you guys step by step, uh, showing you guys how to build one of the coolest games you ever built for PHP. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And again, visit my site at thenewboston.com if you need any help. And thank you, and I will see you next time.